let's go! Code deciphered! For whatever reason, uh, their roles seem... Oh, well, no, their roles have not switched. Uh, it's just that you're picking them in the reverse order. They only know the code for one door, apparently. The one door at a time. Uh, hit that guy. See if you can do anything with the grunt. I believe the grunt will die a little bit more quickly with ice than a regular attack, but that's not really something I, I need to be that concerned about because a normal attack now is enough to take him out because of the level ups that I've gotten. Unfortunately, they don't go over what stat increases you get with each level up, but to be honest, it's not really something that's that important for this game. Just know that the stats do go up. We'll go over really stats and that kind of stuff later. But there you go. Yeah, just under six minutes. Because that is the mark right there. We had plenty of time. Unless you believe this cutscene. Oh, we have to save Jesse again. This time you have to do it. But then... There goes the Mako reactor. Reactor number one. As you can see, there were quite a few of them. I think I counted eight. That should keep the planet going. At least a little longer. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, now everyone get back. Now, the reactor explosion, I fully understand. This one, I'm not sure I get. And I think we all died. No, we all survived. That was apparently not that big of an explosion. And Wedge lit his ass on fire. Damn it, Wedge. All right. Now let's get out of here. Rendezvous at Sector 8 Station. Split up and get on the train. And off go the minor characters. Let's call them what they are. They're minor characters because I didn't get to name them. Hey. If it's about your money... Save it till we're back at the hideout. I do love the minor characters, but they are minor. We're back in control of Fred. Hold on for one second, though. All right, let's move on. Let's get out of here. This fire will burn indefinitely. So we should probably leave before the cops get here. Because we are in quite a big town, it looks like. Quite a run-down town, though. It's kind of depressing in here. In here? Wait. This flower girl here. Wasn't she in the intro? I think she was. Excuse me. What happened? Now, it's still a little early for me to go over date mechanics. Just know that this little scene right here uh, does impact that slightly. Uh, but probably not the way that you would think. Uh, the best way for me to put it is the flower girl doesn't like me more or less because of what I say here. And and we'll leave it at that for now and we'll go over it more. But for what I have planned, I do want uh, to have this outcome a certain way. And I'll go over that once again when more or less we turn this in. So, nothing. Hey, listen. Don't see many flowers around here. Oh, these? Do you like them? They're only a gill. For this, I do want to buy one. Now, the flower is important for dating, as I'm sure you can imagine. Uh, but based on who you want to date in the game, I, I don't think it's that big of a spoiler that there's going to be a date in this game. And I have uh, four choices for that date. Uh, for two of those choices, I do want to buy one. For two of those choices, I don't want to buy one. It was a close vote. It was so close. And I think I will spoil it by saying, I'm going to buy the flower. Oh, thank you. Here you are. Uh, just for the record, I will be doing the other dates in the bonus videos. I did not say that in the introduction, but that is definitely the plan. We'll be, we'll be doing all the dates, but for this one, I have chosen what it is. And this is probably a good time for me to just look at the sprite. Uh, it is not the best sprite by today's standards at all. But please remember for this game, 
when it came out, the 3D concept was still very new. So uh, Fred does does have some peculiarities to him, particularly his shoulders and forearms, and the lack of anything other than than eyes on his face, eyes and eyebrows. But this was easily overlooked when it came out, easily. But looking at the game now, I I can see why people mm, tend to make fun of it. I, I can understand it, but I, I'm too nostalgic for it to, to make too much fun of it. But it does stand out. Just what the hell's going on? Uh, the electricity, don't worry about it. It won't hit you. Received a potion. Just lying around. Nobody else wanted it, apparently. Wonder what that is on the wall over there. Let's see. Don't be fooled by Shinra. Mako energy doesn't last forever. Mako is the planet's life source. The end is in sight. Protectors of the planet. Avalanche. That'll probably be the last time you hear me talk about the sprites, just for the record. Unless there's something just terrible that happens. And I think there is. What we want to do is head down here. Hey, you there! Uh, let's fight them. I don't see why not. I can get some free experience off these guys. Uh, I think it's just the same guys that we fought before. Yeah, just the regular MPs. They go down very, very quickly. After a while, I will start cutting these out. In fact, I'll probably cut out starting the next fight. Uh, any repeat enemies. Uh, you saw the screen flash there. That was due to a critical hit, which is why we did double the damage that we did on the other guy. Uh, so, that's how criticals work pretty simple. It doesn't matter if you kill them though, uh, somebody else will show up. Fight them! So I will take these guys on as well. That's him! And then we have to run once more, and I have another option to fight these guys. Once again, free experience. Should you not hit a button, it defaults that you fight them anyway. So you have to be quick if you want to run. But we do get a pincer attack, uh, so you do get an attack from both sides. But once again, same enemies that we've been fighting since the beginning. And then they surround us. Looks like there's no escape. That's as far as you go. I don't have time to be messing around with you guys. Enough babbling. Grab him! And then we get a full motion video of him jumping on the train to get out of here. Fred never came. I was too distracted by the flower girl, who I assume healed me because I got a free heal somewhere along the line there. Fred, wonder if he was killed. No way. Fred. I think Jesse likes me. Jesse is totally into Fred. Say, do you think Fred's going to fight to the end for Avalanche? The hell would I know? Do I look like a mind reader? <laughs> if y'all weren't such screw-ups. Hey, Tank, what about our money? Uh, nothing, sorry. Who, was somebody screaming there? Just kind of sighing? Oh, damn, Fred! Looks like I'm a little late. You damn right you're late. Come waltzing in here making a big scene. Did you like my backflip? I worked on it. It's no big deal. Just what I always do. Shit. Having everyone worried like that, you don't give a damn about no one but yourself. Hmm. You were worried about me? What? I'm taking it out of your money, hot stuff. Wake up! We're moving out! Follow me! Hey, Fred. You were great back there. I know. Don't you forget it. <laughs> Fred, we'll do even better next time. Be careful. I'll shut this. Oh, Fred. Your face is pitch black. There you go. Say, 
thanks for helping me back there at the reactor. See, so you, you help a girl once, you save her life once, and she's totally into you. I will say, though, about the sprites, that the, the sprites are definitely different inside the battle than they are out here. Uh, they are upgraded in there, but because of the limitations on, on the original PlayStation, or at least the supposed ones, it was a little hard for them to program, I guess. Last train has Sector 8 station. Last stop is Sector 7 train graveyard. Expected time of arrival is 12.23 a.m. Midgar Standard Time. People do not like the side of tank. Now if I remember right now, this is why I hate the last train. Oh boy! Now if I remember right, there is definitely something here. Right, yeah, there is. Uh, another one of the date mechanics. I know, it's so weird, like, like, as soon as you start the game, they're just like, who are you gonna date? I'm like, I don't even know anybody yet. Huh? This is my house, so make yourselves at home. What do you have to say about this? You see the headlines in the Shinra Times? No. The terrorists that bombed the number one reactor are based somewhere in the slums, blowing up a reactor. They, some, they sure put some thought into this one. I must have a real calculating leader. I wonder what they'll do next. I'm not sure how calculating tank is, but maybe that's just me. Uh, so for this, uh, I'm going to do things not necessarily to script here. I am going to talk to Jesse. And for the record, yes, I do see that Wedge doesn't have a back. Hey, Fred, you want to look at this with me? It's a map of the Midgar rail system. Let's look at it together. I'll explain it to you. I like this kind of stuff. Bombs and monitors, you know. Flashy stuff. Okay, it's about to start. This is a complete model of the city of Midgar. It's about a 1 to 10,000 scale. I don't know how you can estimate that, but okay, thank you. The top plate is about 50 meters above ground. A main support structure holds the plate up in the center, and there are other support structures built in each section. The number one reactor we blew up was in the northern section. Then there's number two, number three, all the way up to the number eight reactor. I was right, there are eight. The eight reactors provide Midgar with electricity, so that's what the reactors do. They turn something called Mako into electricity. We don't know what Mako is, though, really other than the fact that it's energy. Each town used to have a name, but no one in Midgar remembers them. Instead of names, we refer to them by numbered sectors. That's the kind of place this is. Yeah, this is next. Look. This is the route this train is on. The route spirals around the main support structure. We should be coming around the center area right now. At each checkpoint, an ID sensor device is set up. It can check the identities and background on each and every passenger on the train by linking it up to the central data bank at Shinra headquarters. Anyone could tell that we look suspicious, so we're using fake IDs. That is probably a good idea, considering they got some kind of com uh, computer-automated ID check. Uh, 